Six people, five of them from Hampton Roads, face serious charges after a series of break-ins at a North Carolina storage facility. Authorities tracked down the pricey operation to an Airbnb not far from there on the Outer Banks. Tonight only on 10, two of the suspects are talking from jail and saying it wasn't them. Andy Fox has more from Currituck County. It all began at a storage facility, detectives say, stolen goods. It would end at an Airbnb in Kerala. Chesapeake resident Christopher Barnhill rented this Airbnb in Kerala and says an acquaintance asked if he could store some belongings there. We were there for the weekend or for the week um, that he was more than welcome to bring some of it there. Um, it wasn't until the day that the police arrived when I found out about everything going on and he was he had disappeared. These six remain behind bars, each with a $275,000 bond they cannot afford to pay and Barnhill's is $575,000. I had a warrant for my arrest in Chesapeake uh, for the, uh, it was a failure to appear for uh, driving on a suspended. On November 2nd, the Currituck County Sheriff's Office started getting complaints concerning several break-ins here at Ample Storage located in Powell's Point. The very next day, investigators spotted a U-Haul box truck while at the storage facility investigating an unrelated larceny. They became suspicious, canvassed the area, and found evidence leading them back to the Airbnb Barnhill had rented. And he's left you with all the stolen stuff. He left all the stolen stuff there at the house. I mean, you're in a real pinch here. I mean, because of yeah, the way it looks. It looks, it looks like, looks like I'm the one that did it, and um, I have nothing to do with it. Also locked up, Joshua Calhoun from Virginia Beach. He claims he knew nothing about the man who left in the middle of the night. Called him a friend of a friend. These aren't friends of mine. There's just a missing person that's not there that left while we were sleeping. He's the one that broke into the storage units and broke into and brought the stuff to the house. All six remain here at the Currituck County Detention Center with very hefty bonds. They all are scheduled to appear in court tomorrow. In Currituck County, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.